Uh, to Kemi Lawyer, the videos I just did, one was for Yaba, one was for Tonto. For those of you that don't understand Yoruba, um, I really don't have time, but I'm going to do it very short for you in English. What happened with Yaba Uja was on Sunday night, she was arrested by the DSS. They came to her house and they raided her house and took her away. Men in black, you know how it is, masks and all that. The operation involved taking her to Abuja, but they could not make it to Abuja at that time of night. So they basically took her to the local DSS office in Magodo, Ikeja, Lagos, where she was interrogated and interviewed in the morning. And then later in the day, they let her go home. They seized her passport and she's supposed to report there once a week. Now, what benefits her in this is that she is a liar and she doesn't want her fans to know anything happened. So she's already debunked it. And I happen to be an investigative journalist that my job is really to expose things and people. The DSS themselves don't want to make noise with this case. They don't want to give it to the mainstream media. Now, you know, the mainstream media in Nigeria are puppets. They don't investigate. They don't look at suppressed and underreported news. They only do what they're told. If a statement didn't come from the DSS, they're not going to report it. It's hearsay to them. So these things actually happened. So like I said, they're saying in the Senate that they don't want to make it political. Okay, it has political undertones. It's the Senate president. And what happened is, Yuriti Kinimbe made an address in front of the Senate president. Whatever the Senate, because I don't cover politics, okay? I cover Yabo and Tonto. I don't cover politics. However, whatever Yuriti said to the um, Senate president, Natasha Akwati got up, the Kogi senator, and countered something. She said her own thing. And many of the senators thought it was rude. And they wanted Natasha to apologize to the Senate president because what happened after all this incident is that Natasha spoke on the phone to Yabo. Yabo and Natasha are friends. Right now, Yabo's acting as if she doesn't know who Natasha is. You saw her video last night, a live video. Who is Natasha? What's she talking about? They're friends. And apparently, I believe that the NSC has a wiretap on them. And if you don't know what a wiretap is, a wiretap is when they're tapping your line and they're hearing your conversation with somebody else. And after that wiretap, whatever Natasha said about the Senate president, I don't know, Yabo and Tonto put a post up for her. Okay? The EFCC should freeze their account because if any money entered Yabo's account right around that time frame, that's the payment for the blog post. And Yabo and Tonto continued three days relentlessly, posting the Senate president's number, his wife, and a lot of young women who they defamed. They said all of them were side chicks, current chicks, side chicks, ex-side chicks. Hilda Bassi was there, and Hilda Bassi is from Akwa Ibom State. And Akwabio was once governor over there. They had Inia Do there. They had quite a lot of ladies there, including a lady, Dakore, who just arrived in the States and said on a video that she doesn't even know the Senate president. And at the end of the day, we have this whole thing about who is just lover. It is Yabo and Tonto, and they'll get them soon. The other thing I wanted to say that I said in the second video was the fact that Tonto DK um, blackmailed that police officer, Princess in Kirun Wode. Um, I've received information and screenshots and things from one or two members of her family because they posted them on just lover, their address, their phone number, their everything. It's the same thing they did with me. They posted my address and phone number and the picture of my apartment. And my landlord told the airport and told you that if it's you running that, just know that Madame Kim is not the only one that lives in that building. I've gotten a lot of complaints, and I'm going to tell you that you will spend the night in Kujia prison. You need to stop. Anyway, at the end of the day, they do this all the time. Okay, the Senate president's phone number was listed. It was posted. They've now deleted it. Now... The information I received at Tonto was very disturbing, but apparently I'm hearing now that she blackmailed everybody in that case. Tonto, after posting all this stuff about this cop and Patrick and Princess, and all these cops in the Anambra RSS case, those cops say they're innocent. This lady says she was innocent, and she was the one that caught Anamdi. You not turn around and go ask her for money. Tonto asked her for 10K, okay? And she said, I don't have 10K, and I'm not paying. It's blackmail. Why would I pay? Okay, give me 6K. I'll take the, I'll get, you know, somewhere in the conversation, I think she wrote, we will take it down. We'll take it off, just love her. 
She wanted money to make the story disappear from Just Lover after she collected the money. The lady said, I don't have 6K. My family doesn't have 6K. It's blackmail. I didn't do it. I'm waiting for the police investigation. So Tonto was bargaining blackmail money until she got to $4,000. And the lady said, no, I've told you. Apparently, it's not just her. So many people went to her. Her name is Princess Nkiru Unwode, and she's an officer, a PPR. And apparently, even TV stations and some of the bloggers came to her. We can clean up your image. We can. Everybody just wants money. But Tonto was like, I'll make the story go away. We'll make the story go away. We'll. The pronoun suggests that she's the one doing it. She's the one posting it. So that's really what I said in both videos. I said it in Yoruba. Enjoy, share.